Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. And surprise! I am doing chewing gum as well as Raiden today. I think Raiden is their um, title track for this comeback. I'm not entirely sure because it's Raiden and Reload. I've been I've been um trying to avoid all the spoilers, so I don't even know the title track. That's how much I try to avoid spoilers. So yeah, I decided to do chewing gum as well, you know, to kind of like pay uh, tribute to today's uh, to NCT Dream's comeback and I haven't seen chewing gum, so you know, it's, it's their first song, so I gotta know where they started and then like it'll just be a fun twist to kind of like see where they started and then like where they are at now. I might be a little bit slow on <laughs> the analysis. There's no dance practice for the new MV anyway for the new song, so I think I might just kind of like enjoy it, react to it like normal reactors do. If I did notice some stuff, then I'll pause and you know, the usual. Let's, let's get to it. Oh yeah, I forgot that to say that we're gonna do the hoverboard version. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Hey, Chan! Okay, oh man, they're freaking kids. Look at this, they're not even teenagers, they're kids. I think I actually may have come across this, um, this, like, one of, the, like, the, this thumbnail before. Like, not this specific one that I'm paused at, but, like, just the overall MV, I think it was has been suggested to me before on YouTube. And I was just like, holy crap, they're like training kids to be idols. That's just insane. I mean, they do all the time, but like, you know, they debuted as kids. Like, that's not really kind of common, right? And then, oh my God, who do we have here? We have, uh, it's kind of blurred out. So, huh. Ren from here, Renjin, Jeno. Jisung, Shanla, uh, Jamin, Hei Chan, and Mark. I think. I hope I didn't mess up anybody. But oh my god, oh, hoverboards? Damn! <laughs> Oh, it's catchy! Look at that hair! Actually, you know what? The vocals... Um, this is actually quite loud. Let me just like lower it a little bit. Um, the vocals is actually quite strong for, for their age. It's still, it's still, you can tell it's a little bit on the middle of like the puberty stage. It's not quite cracking, it's not quite girly. Because pre-puberty, it's girly. But they already have some depth to their tone. And I wonder if they waited, um, or if SM waited before they debuted, um, that they already have kind of like reached a certain point where their vocals are rounder. It's very interesting. Wait. Oh my god, the hoverboards though, that's hard. I can't even do a hoverboard. <gasps> what? Damn, look at the back. Wow. It's kind of dangerous, but... <laughs> Oh, sweet! That's so cool, the formation. Oh, and then they get off the hoverboards. Good choreography. Oh my god, their smiles. They're so pure here. Oh, Mark. I can't... Oh my god, this guy. I just watched Super Ram yesterday, right? And then this kid... 
look what he has accomplished in that short amount of time. Wow. And like many other, many many of them too. But it's it's different with um with with Mark because we we saw him debut at this age. Wow, it's so catchy. Yeah, you can totally tell that they waited till after puberty, especially for Mark, because he sounds very similar now. Oh, I don't know if it, my battery is going to be low, so I got to finish this and then preserve and then go to the MV, to the new one. Ah, oh, Jason's already good at this age. Look at those moves. It's it's still raw, but you can tell there's um there's the emphasis to what he would develop later on as like popping and locking. Nice. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Okay, it is right in. Here it is. <sighs> my first comeback, guys. My first comeback with Dream. Okay, they came, went from hoverboards to cars. <gasps> oh, damn! <laughs> Wait, oh man, Jamin is looking good. Ah, that smile didn't change, huh? I love that it's still there. It didn't like his the aura has kind of um stayed the same even though he's grown up quite a bit and you know, he's so handsome now too. He was always cute in the in the um chewing gum video, but like here, you know, it's he's starting to kind of like um be defined as handsome and not cute. There's a difference. Hey Chad. She sung. Oh black hair, Shanla! <laughs> nice oh man it's more vocally centric um f now like this song with with um Ranjan and um and Hei Chan because for we go up um it's still there's still some really good vocals in there too um but it's more um shorter phrasing here you can actually hear like the melody it's a lot longer of of, of the phrasing and and the notes Jano though. Yo. Ooh, I like that move. It's so slick. I love the the wardrobe, the styling. Wow, Jesus. Woohoo! Was that Ch Shanla? That mini rap? Nice! That's like 
it's in the midst of um it's not quite rap rap but it's like rap sing it's like a like a combination um it's very um almost not quite staccato but like staccato is kind of like it's abrupt sounds but it's just like kind of shorter um shorter uh spaces in between the 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 the, the notes but it's still blah blah blah, 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 blah. Oh man. Oh man, I can't wait to see the dance practice. Oh, did you guys hear the harmony? Who's that? Um, oh, it's a rap, um, a rap sing um, with Ji Sung and then Hei Chan on top harmonizing. <laughs> Man, no! Come on! From hoverboards to this. Nice. And they're playing with lighters now? Oh man. I'm so happy that like um, they're all getting to showcase each of their moves. Oh. Yes! High notes! Oh man, I love this hair on um on on Jamin. Oh man, it's just so nice. It fits his face so well. I love the styling on him, on all of them. Oh, nice. Oh man. I mean, I wasn't there from the beginning, but I could just imagine how you guys feel. The ones that are, you know, the, the OGs from um, following them from chewing gum up until this point. Because we don't see that a lot in idols. Because we see them, you know, after when they debut at like 16 or 18 already. But like, um, or even like 20s. I don't know how, how old they are here, but they look like kids in chewing gum. And then now they're like freaking men wait i'm not allowed to say that yet <laughs> they're not even 20. Uh, <laughs> anyways um i can't wait for the dance practice because the dance aspect of it seems a lot more mature like we go ups is i really like go we go ups um choreography um but we go up still has some sort of kind of like teenish boppish kind of undertone to it of course because of the brand but this is the first sound that they kind of like yo we're ready to be taken more seriously and not let's just like you know, be kind of the cutesy type. I, I can't wait to see them kind of grow, keep growing because now that they're a fixed unit, it's it's gonna be amazing with, you know, Mark coming back and like other people maybe joining that kind of thing, fitting the concept. I kind of called it, I, even though I wasn't, you know, an OG fan, I thought that it wouldn't be sustainable with what they were doing, kind of like the graduation, graduating system. Like, you know, that once they turn 20, they leave or uh, the group, that kind of thing. And then they'll add new members. Like, that just doesn't seem sustainable in the long run because then you'll have a bajillion people in NCT 127 or NCT U or if they're not ex exclusively graduated to NCT 127 then they're and not in NCT U then they're just kind of like stalling and then for them to kind of debut um, new people all the time to fill an NCT dream it doesn't make sense that's very costly and you'll be wasting a lot of talents because you've been building NCT dream like their brand the people um, are loving them and then you're that's that might go to waste 
you know, if, if they keep graduating people off um, out of the group. So it's very smart for SM to get them to make them a fixed unit and um, kind of have an NCTU vibe kind of concept rotation situation. Well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure that you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to hear more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.